Well, the problem is, Bev, that South Korea has a problem, an ageing population problem. It has one of the oldest populations on Earth. It also has the worst uh, or the lowest birth rate as well. Uh, so it's going to need a lot more doctors. And to really top off the pro list of problems here, uh, South Korea has one of the lowest doctor to patient ratios amongst wealthy industrialized nations. So uh, by some estimates, South Korea needs an extra 15,000 doctors in just over a decade to meet the demands of this aging population because they're going to need more health practitioners. So that's the problem. Well, what's the solution? Well, the government here has proposed to take more trainee doctors, more people into medical schools, about 2,000 more a year. Currently, they take around 3,000 a year. They're talking about upping it to 5,000 a year. Certainly, the population is supporting the idea. That's what the polls are showing anyway. Uh, but the trainee doctors or the uh, hospital uh, residents are very much against the idea, or at least uh, they're against what the government's been up to. They're saying that this would cheapen the profession and the concern primarily needs to be for them uh, lifting the wages and lifting the conditions of these trainee doctors. They earn around half what they would get if they were in America. Uh, the hours are longer as well. Uh, so they're really just exhausted and they say they're underpaid. These issues need to be addressed uh, before other issues are addressed or so they lift the intake. And they have the support of professional doctors, but right now it's the intern doctors that have walked out on the job. Yeah. So has the government sat down and spoken with these trainee doctors. What have they said so far, the government? Well, the government right now is making threats. Uh, it's offered to negotiate with the intern doctors that have walked out in the job. Around eight, 000, nine thousand of them have walked out, and in fact, not only walked out but handed in their letters of resignation. Uh, the government is responding with these uh, actions with threats, saying any doctor, intern doctor, uh, that doesn't return to the job by Friday could face legal action, could be prosecuted, could be arrested, uh, or have their uh, medical licence uh, suspended or terminated. So it's really using the stick approach right now more than the carrot. Uh, meanwhile, the police are saying they're looking into two doctors' associations. Uh, one of the claims that they're looking into is whether or not a doctors' association may have encouraged trainee doctors to delete patient uh, details uh, as part of this protest movement. So now even the police are saying they're getting involved too, Bev. Interesting. And you know, that's a lot of doctors to have walked off the job. How, and if you're talk, talking about how long their hours are, the impact on hospital services must be quite extreme. Oh, absolutely. Uh, this is around two thirds of all trainee doctors that have walked off the job. So that makes a real impact uh, considering how important they are to the hospital system. Uh, so right now, non-critical patients are certainly being turned away from hospitals across the country. Uh, we had five in Seoul, the capital, uh, that went on red alert uh, at the weekend due to a shortage of beds. Uh, the military has now had to open up its hospitals uh, to help uh, with critical patients as well. So that's the real problem that they're facing right now, Bev. Uh, it's, it's a shortage uh, and certainly if the doctor's threats are, uh, if the government's threats are real, then uh, the doctors have only a few days to get back on tools essentially, but at the moment they're not backing down. They're saying there'll be an even bigger protest on Sunday. Bev? Interesting. Quite the crisis. Good to talk. Thanks, James.